What would you say if I was to tell you that you can make a primitive bow, very primitive, or a survival bow out of a blue spruce limb that would prove to be a longer lasting weapon than just like taking a stick and stringing it and, and creating it that way? Now there's a, a group of people, and I'm going to say there's probably more people that did this than this particular group, but the Mojave made bows out of cottonwood. And cottonwood is not the best bow wood in the world. And how they worked around that is they created a stiffer bow, but then deflexed the tips. That's right. Forget about reflex, or uh, yeah, reflexing them into recurves. Deflex them. And this gives you a couple of advantages. First of all, this looks like it's braised. Well, I guess technically it is, but it's under no strain. This bow with a reasonable brace height is not strained because the deflex in the limbs um, creates a situation. So I don't need to unstring this bow. I've rambled on and on about the benefits of con coniferous branches, so I'm not going to repeat that. This is a very short bow, and I made it stiffer than I would normally if it wasn't with deflexed tips. In this way, I'm going to get good cast. It's going to be a nice, a nice weapon. And because of the deflex tips, there is some stress here, you know, obviously. It's kind of tight. But close to 100% of the energy that you put in to this system... Close to 100% of that energy is going to be transferred into the arrow. So it is a very efficient design, even with the, the anti-recurve. This again is blue spruce. I don't know how tall it is. It's very short. Um, it pulls a lot. It's not being stressed right now, even though it's braced. So I don't need to undo it. And because of this basically low stress and putting 100% of the en energy that you're putting into the ball, um, will be transferred to the arrow, you're not straining it by just stringing it. This thing is perfectly happy like this. Now, it's a little more refined than that other one I did. Let me just fire a couple arrows through this little beast. It's actually faster than that last one I showed that didn't have the deflex tips. It's a pretty good shooting bow. It could certainly, um, you know, drop game. I would hazard to guess, and I don't recommend it because it is on uh, the, the very primitive side, survival bow. It would, in my estimation, with my experience um, hunting with self bows, deer, um, this would drop a deer with a decent point. Not a huge, huge arrowhead. But that's not part of this discussion. This is merely just to show um, one thing that you can do to increase your ability to, pr to produce survival bows or very simple weapons. Simply deflexing the tips. Now yes, uh, consequence of this is, if you have a longer draw, that the string angle is going to be high and it's going to stack. But this is a short draw bow. I don't need to draw it a far way back to get a lot of oomph because I made it stiffer. So, in conclusion, um, to create a useful, easy to build survival bow, Use your knowledge of materials. Forget those little sapling tricks with the hardwoods. Go to conifers. Go to branches. This is only at the thickest point, about an inch and a half in diameter, so it's easily found. Don't worry about the knots. Of course, the branch is going to have a lot of little branches on it. Big deal. I'm not violating any growth rings or anything. I deflex the tips, either with hot water or steam, or just green, being very careful to shape them and then string them so it holds that and sets like that pretty pleased. This would be like number three of my contribution into the softwood bow challenge of the century. It's actually pretty pretty. It's pretty pretty. I tend to like simplicity. And this is definitely simple. It's compact. It doesn't use like multiple sticks tied together. It's not long and cumbersome. This would be my choice for a survival weapon. Thank you very much.